Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com and welcome to Lessons from Flying Again the Movie. Perhaps, and I hope, you own a DVD copy, or maybe you've seen Flying Again already in theaters. If you haven't, flyingagainmovie.com is the place to go and check that out. But I want to share with you a quick clip from the movie and kind of elaborate on what we can learn from this clip. And the topic is tunnel vision. Have you ever been coming in on final and you're just laser focused on landing that you don't see the big picture? You don't understand or hear what's happening in the traffic pattern or notice simple things that are on the runway. Have you ever found yourself like our rusty pilot, Bill Clayton? Let's go ahead and cut to that clip. All right, power back to idle, glide it on in. Dial down a three mile right base. This is beautiful. Whoa, 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 what's on the runway? What's on the runway? What's on the runway? The same lawnmower that's been there the whole time. I am focused on this runway. I am focused on the center line, and I look up, and there's a guy on a lawnmower. And it scared me to death. The scary part about that is the bar's been there since we've been at Denellan, and you haven't seen him yet. That's the scary part. <laughs> that is the scary part. It taught me something. I was so focused on center line and on the number 10, I didn't see the guy. He'd been out there the whole time running up and down the runway. In fact, I had passed him twice on that runway and the motor on his mower was running wide open and I didn't even notice it. Although that clip is somewhat humorous, it happens to the best of us. It happens to all of us. Like Bill said, you can get so focused on that number 10 or whatever number that runway is, you forget what's happening around you. What you don't see in the movie, and again, we had to break it down in just 83 minutes. I wish we could have made the movie five hours long because there's so much great footage. What you don't see is on downwind, I remember looking down and I saw that tractor there. In fact, and John can attest to this, John's standing behind the camera, he was the director and the cinematographer of the movie, of me saying, I think there's something on the runway. But Bill didn't catch that. And you see that watching for runway incursions and avoiding tunnel vision starts that far back. Thinking ahead, I'm on downwind and I'm looking at the runway to see what's happening down on that runway. And I saw that tractor even though we were back on downwind. And although when you're coming into land, I understand how easy it is to get locked in on focusing on that number. In fact, that is one of the things I teach is to watch that runway number. Is it creeping up on your windshield or is it, are you losing it underneath your windshield? But you still have to use your peripheral vision to scan for other obstacles, scan for possible runway incursions. You still have to listen for other aircraft in the traffic pattern. It could have been, we're landing runway 10 10, but somebody announces they're taking off runway 28. And you've got to be able to cue in and listen for certain things that apply to your airport. So next time you're flying, I've got two tips for you. First off, loosen up on the death grips. A lot of times, death grips lead to tunnel vision. As crazy as that sounds, if you're grabbing that yoke like it's ready to break off in your hand, chances are your eyes are doing the same thing. You're just looking straight at one thing, loosen up on the death grips and loosen up and begin to look outside. Use your peripheral vision to avoid that tunnel vision. Listen, if you have not seen the movie Flying Again, it's not just for rusty pilot. It's for all types of pilots. It talks about the difference between currency and proficiency. And we're all striving to not just be current pilots, but to be proficient pilots. Visit flyingagainmovie.com to check it out, grab your copy, and most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya. Flying Again is not just for rusty pilots, but pilots of all experience levels and even those non-pilots. It's the story of someone giving up something they love, aviation, for someone they love, maybe a child or a spouse. The funny thing about aviation is it always has a way of bringing us back. Join us as we watch these pilots flying again. You are 60 feet over the runway, girl. That is hot. Family is the reason why I got into flying. Family is the reason I stopped flying. And now family is a great reason to start flying again.